To begin, we're going to open Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is the best browser for Dell Tech because it gives the least number of errors. Google Chrome or Firefox tend to give more errors than Internet Explorer, so this is the best browser to use. If you use a Mac for your home computer, Safari works just fine. As a new consultant, you should receive an email from the Blue Force team with your Dell Tech login information as well as a web address to the site. I have copied that web address and am pasting it into the address bar of my browser. The next thing I like to do is to add the site as a favorite for quick access in the future. So I click the star and click add to favorites. Dell Tech time and expense login, that looks good. I choose the favorites bar and click add. And here it is up in the favorites bar. The email from the Blue Force team will have your login and temporary password in it, so you will enter those on this screen. You will change the password upon the initial login. The domain is always, always Blue Force. You can choose to change the language here as well. Next, click Login. This screen is called My Desktop and can be customized to whatever layout best suits you. I am a supervisor, so my layout may be a bit different than yours. I have a list here of my timesheets showing the current timesheet first, as well as past timesheets. This is good for checking past hours. Next, we want to open the current timesheet. If this is your first time logging in, you'll only have one timesheet available, but as time goes on, this window will display your past timesheets as well. I'm going to click on the current timesheet to open it. This view will be completely different for a consultant. Consultants typically only have one line on which to record time, but in some cases there might be more. I'm a corporate employee, so I have several lines. If you're ever unsure of what line to use, you can ask your Blue Force point of contact. It is very important that you record hours every day. Blue Force project managers and upper management use timesheets to determine how the contract is doing, so it is essential to keep it up to date. If you do not fill out your timesheet, you and your Blue Force supervisor will receive an email that says that you failed a floor check each day that you do not complete your timesheet. Some computers, such as government computers, will not access Dell Tech, so you may have to do it from home. There's also a mobile app. Instructions for the mobile app are also available. Once you have determined on which line or lines you record your time, you can add in your hours. I'm going to add in my hours for today. Once you've entered your hours, you will click Save at the top. You can also add notes in each box to give any information about the day, such as what you did that day, or explaining leaving early or working extra hours. You'll notice a few other buttons here at the top. Open will open past timesheets. Search really only applies to supervisors. Print will print your timesheet or make it into a PDF, which we'll talk about later. Audit also only applies to supervisors. Leave applies to anyone with the opportunity for paid time off in their contract. If you have questions about this, please ask your Blue Force point of contact. You do not need to worry about reverse timesheet or offline timesheet. The arrows next to the date will also navigate you to past and future timesheets. If you ever open the wrong timesheet, you can use the arrows to get you to the right one. At the end of a pay period, which for some is the end of the month and for others is the 15th and last day of the month, you will sign your timesheet. To sign, you'll click this icon next to the signature box and enter your password. Your name will appear in the box that shows that your timesheet is signed. Signed timesheets go directly to your Blue Force supervisor who will approve it. If you are late signing your timesheet, it could make your pay late. If your contract requires that your site supervisor sign your timesheet, you can print it by clicking print at the top. From this window, you can also save it as a PDF and email it to your site supervisor.